Hey Taurus, Alice here with your monthly reading for April 2022. Uh, we're going to check in what the incoming energies are like for you and, you know, we'll just see where that goes. We'll get some potential outcomes for you for this month and possibly some messages from the universe. I don't know, it's kind of free form. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where things go. I'll try not to make this as long because my, my readings seem to have gotten really long lately. I don't know what's up with that. I guess I'm just talking too much. So let's, you know, try to cut that out, Alice, as I continue to ramble on. Uh, technically, this reading is timeless, so whenever you find it, it's when you're meant to find it. I know it says a monthly reading, but, you know, we're checking in current energies now. That could be current for you whenever you find it. Kind of simple as that. Don't think too much about it. Um, keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading so um, not everything is going to apply to your situation. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force it. Feel free to check out your other signs, your sun, moon, rising, or venus signs. Um, yeah, there could be some messages in there for you. So let's get started. Taurus. Let's see here. What is the incoming energy? For you, Taurus. Actually, I'm gonna. I know there's sun here, but let's get a little bit more light. What's the uh, incoming energies for you, Taurus, for April? I'm very glad that the construction decided to be quiet now. It was really loud like 20 minutes ago, so very glad. Not even like lunchtime or something. It's just quiet and I'm, I'm grateful for it. All right. The overall energy for you, Taurus, uh, we have the four coins and the wheel of fortune in reverse. So this can be your energy. This could be the energy of somebody around you, external energy coming in and affecting you. It's overall energy for April. Um, hmm. I feel like with the wheel in reverse, uh, there's some bad luck going on here. I don't feel like it's your fault. This, I feel, is external energy coming in. I feel, I hear the construction. Shit. Why did I say it? Why did I mention it? Dude. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, I don't think you can, but I can hear it. So if I get distracted... I easily get distracted. Um, that might be why. Uh, it's hard to concentrate when there's a lot of loud noises outside. Anyways, um, yeah, I feel like there's there may be some bad luck coming in for you um, externally that may kind of affect you, but I feel like you're going to try your best to protect yourself. So I feel like this is your energy. Your energy is protecting you protecting what you find you know what's most valuable to you whatever it is your time your energy um whatever it is and yeah so yeah it, it, it's gonna be a little bit of a rough period here i feel um for you taurus sorry but I, I don't think really is i don't think you have much control over it it's just you know the way that things are um just things are out of your control um yeah, it, it's like one of those things where it might be a month where it just feels like things are just going wrong <laughs> for you. Like, I don't know, you you go to grab the milk out of the fridge and it's expired and you're just like, what the fuck? Like, but it's like it says the date's fine, but you know, it's it smells and tastes off. Uh, I don't know, you, 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 you go to go to some place and you're late and it has nothing to do with you. There was like a, an accident and it just slowed you down. It's things like that. And you're just going to try your best to sort of protect yourself, protect, you know, your time, your effort, your energy. Okay. All right. Let's see uh, what the incoming energy is for you, Taurus. So we have the seven of wands in reverse. We have death in reverse. We have the two of wands in reverse. We have the king of cups in reverse. We have strength in reverse. Don't be alarmed by all the reversals. Uh, see, look, knight of cups, not in reverse. Oh, king of wands in reverse. Here we go. <laughs> the fool and the seven of swords in reverse. Again, don't be alarmed by all the reversals. 
doesn't mean it doesn't reversals don't mean bad reversals just mean the up well at least how i feel it's the upright is kind of um there's something off about it but it doesn't necessarily mean negative okay i'm just just saying all right so what do we got here for you uh taurus um in the center of the spread we have strength in reverse i feel like um what may be sort of a the sort of energy focal point for you of April is kind of trying to not back down um kind of like trying to not hold yourself back when it comes to whatever it is that's coming towards you like yeah like it's it's trying to be more sort of I wouldn't say confrontational but like you know being more I wouldn't even say it's aggressive but just less restraint. <laughs> I know it all means the same thing, but it's like, you know, it's slightly more because aggressive just sounds so in your face. Confrontational sounds so in your face. It's not that in your face. It's just being less restrained. Um, I, yeah, that's sort of the energy there. Um, although there is aggression here. I'm not going to lie. I do see that you may get angry at sometimes and really upset angry and upset about probably this um and it's understandable that when things don't go your way and it has nothing to do with you like it has nothing like there's nothing that you could do to prevent it yeah you're gonna get upset you're gonna get angry about it you're you're gonna kind of just let loose um there is a bit of that with the fool here it may be slightly immature you might do or act in a way that is kind of yeah childish to lack of a better word here um kind of like emotional outbursts i guess but again it's to be expected um you know when it's just things aren't just going your way here um i feel like you may also be overly defensive as well um and kind of like really holding on to things too not wanting things not really letting things go it's almost like holding grudges almost there's something here that you may be holding a grudge against as well okay so that is sort of the more challenging parts i know i'm like oh don't be scared of all the negatives and then i said a whole bunch of like challenging things yeah, this side is all very challenging. This side, less challenging. We'll put it that way. Um, I feel like you, you're having trouble making up your mind when it comes to going after something that you're passionate about. Um, something that you have strong feelings towards. It can be a person. It can be a project or a thing. Um, you, you're, you're having trouble making up your mind. And I feel it has something to do with because... There's something that you don't want to let go. You're having trouble letting something go. You're holding on to something. But I feel like you need to let go whatever it is in order to make space for whatever it is that you want to go after. That's kind of, that's the energy that I'm getting here. Um, yeah. Um, down here we have... I feel like you're, 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 you're starting to be more honest with yourself, being more transparent about exactly what it is that you want to start. Like, because it, it feels, I don't know, I get the energy like here that it, there's some sort of passion project that you want to do, that you want to kind of start to get going. And you're just, you're being honest with yourself about this is what I want to do. And you're just you're even like kind of putting it out there a little bit like putting it out to the universe putting it out to the people around you that there's just some sort of like passion that you have for something that you want to go after and you know you're 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 like i want to take a risk i want to i want to go after it okay let's clarify i'm going to clarify some of this i want to clarify this knight of cups let's clarify some nice things here I actually don't feel like there's a whole lot that I need to clarify, to be honest, but Knight of Cups is one of them. So what can you tell me about the Knight of Cups? Okay. 
it wants to, you know, tell me something. Hmm. I'll take this one. Okay, it's two. Fine. Whatever. Nine of Swords in Reverse. Uh, Seven of Wands in Reverse. Seven of Wands is over here as well. And the World in Reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's something that you didn't finish. Something that was left unfinished. Like, unfinished business here that you kind of, you're picking up again this month. It's like temperance. Yeah, it's like something that you've been kind of patient about. Like something that's been kind of sitting on the back burner for a while. And it's like you, you're, you're now in this month kind of being honest with yourself about, okay, you know what? I kind of really like, I want to finish that. I want to complete that. Uh, it can be anything, to be honest. It can be like maybe you started to make a birdhouse or something and you didn't finish it. And now it's, you know, it's just been sitting there in the back of your mind and you're like, I want to finish this. Like, I, I, I want to go for it. It's probably not that. But <laughs> it's that type of energy. It's because you feel your, your, your mind is more clear now. Um, perhaps you were stressing out about it before. And maybe, maybe you were stuck. I don't know. You, maybe you got frustrated. We'll take the birdhouse analogy. Maybe it just, it wasn't working. Like you couldn't figure out how to get it together. And it just was like, and you kind of was just like, ah, I give up. And then now it's like, you're coming back to it and you're like, oh my gosh, like I, so easy. Like why, why was I stressing out about it before? It's like that type of energy. Um, yeah, something that you were stressed out about before, now you've come back to it, and it's not as stressful <laughs> anymore. Um, and you're not really fighting it as much. I feel like before maybe you were fighting it a little bit, fighting against it, and it's like, no, now it's like, I get it. I get it now, kind of thing. So that's not too bad. Um, I want to know about death. What can you tell me about this death card over up here? Tell me more about death in reverse. Um. Okay, no, doesn't. This is weird. Okay, I'll take the four swords and the sun. It's underneath the sun, ten of swords. Okay, I see. So whatever it is that you're trying, you're holding on to, that you're cl clinging on to, it's something that kind of resolves some sort of pain for you. Um, there was something that was kind of, I don't know, uh, so I don't know. It has something to do with something that didn't start. I, I really don't know what it is. Um, something that didn't start that caused a lot of pain for you, um, but then you felt better. And this is what it is had you feeling better and this is what you're having trouble letting go of um like you're just holding on to it because it made you feel better um and it it helped heal you but i feel like i feel like it's kind of um served its purpose for you whatever this is and it's like it's almost like it's time to let go of it even though it's like you don't want to let go of it whatever it is but it, it's like in order for this energy of love to come in this passion energy for for you to kind of go on this path um this needs this this energy here needs to be released i feel it's not serving you right now and i i know it's like before it helped you get through some tough times but it served its purpose it needs to change it needs to grow into something else it's whatever it is however it was before it needs to evolve um and it's almost like you're stunting the growth. I don't know why it just popped into my head, you know, Pokemon. When your Pokemon is like, hey, Pikachu wants to evolve. And then you're like, beep, 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 beep. And you're like, no, 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 no. I, you're going to stay a little cute Pikachu forever. It's like that type of energy. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying it's a Pikachu or anything like that. But this is the energy here. It's like you, you have to let it go. You have to let it grow. You have to let it evolve. Otherwise, you can't make room for this Knight of Cups energy. And, you know, to go down this new path um, here. Um, there was one more thing that I wanted to clarify. 
I think. Was there? Uh, no. No, okay. I, I was thinking about the Two of Wands, but like, I mean, this kind of sort of cleared that up for me. Anyways, it's nice, nice, nice how that happens. All right, so since that was all quite quick, quick, 15 minutes, um, let's, I'm going to check in and see what the incoming energy is for you for somebody who you're currently dealing with in your life, Taurus, because they didn't show up here. This was all you, you, you. Um, yeah, that was all you. So actually, you know what? I'm gonna. I wanna. I wanna. Uh, I was gonna say I wanna pull on the the wheel of fortune. Um, that bad luck. But it's like it's not like there's nothing you can do about it. So like, why pull on it, right? So okay, yeah, we're gonna pull on a. a the uh, person that's around you, like the current person that you're dealing with, what's their incoming energy towards you in April? So this is the person that you're dealing with, the person that's on your mind, the person that you are thinking about. So Taurus's person, what's their incoming energy towards Taurus for April? This person's incoming energy towards Taurus. I'm getting like hypnotized by the cards. It's not good. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's like I'm not high enough for this. I'm not high at all. So, like, sure. Actually, I can't talk about that on YouTube, can I? I'm in Canada. It's legal. Whatever. Okay, fuck. Actually, I've never done a reading um, like that, so not not on this channel. And I might have done it once for myself, but yeah, no. Anyways, your person's overall energy. We have the hanged man and justice. Huh. Um... I feel like there's some karma coming in or they've dealt I feel like your person's dealing with some karma um like I don't know if it's because of something they did or it's that they're witnessing it or or like they're getting um justice or like if if they're getting justice for themselves or somebody's getting justice on the I don't really know um but they're I feel like they're dealing with some karma and it's causing this sort of quiet period here they're being quite quiet that can be why maybe in your incoming energy I didn't see anybody I didn't see any I didn't see this person in that energy and I think that this is why they're dealing with some karma um I, I yeah and it's causing them to be quiet very quiet very quiet okay well this will be interesting what's their incoming energy towards you Taurus for April uh, Queen of Coins, Knight of Wands in Reverse, Four of Wands in Reverse, Death, Seven of Wands, Page of Wands in Reverse, Strength in Reverse, Three of Coins in Reverse, King of Cups. Oh my god, there's just a lot of nothing. What the fuck? Yeah, I said, they're being very quiet. You want to see how quiet they are? Knight of Wands in Reverse, no action. Four of Wands in Reverse, eh. Nope, nope, nothing there. No stability here. Page of Wands in Reverse, nope, no talking. Uh, three of Coins in Reverse, no, no working together, no hanging out. Death, that is just nothing. <laughs> and two. Um, yeah, the Summon of Wands, they're fighting something. They're fighting, they're, it's this, this karma, whatever's going on here. Whatever this justice is about, um, this they're busy, basically. Your person's busy. Um, they're, they're dealing with whatever this is. Um, they're keeping their emotions inside. They're not really, they're not 
like they got a poker face on basically they got a poker face on they're not letting up anything that's going on here strength in reverse um with this i feel like they're just um how would i say like their confidence has kind of taken a bit of a hit here um that's why they're trying to like they're fighting back they're fighting back because they their confidence has taken a hit here there's something that has ended on their side here they're trying like i i will say that um if you do talk to this person that you, first of all you're not even going to realize anything's going on with them because they have a pretty good poker face and they're also going to appear like they're very put together like if, you know when they talk to you they're going to be like i have everything under control and i feel like they do have things under control it's just they're busy i just get this is like a busy signal like they're just busy 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 the only thing i want to pull on is that justice card which is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull on justice. That's the only thing I need to pull on because the rest of it is because of all this. So tell me about this justice. Tell me about justice. Three pentacles. Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. It's another Pentacle. Oh, it's a sign. Okay, okay. Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay. Um. So this justice, um, this is a, this is slow. This has taken a long time to, to this is like a long time coming for this person. Um, it's about, it's, oh, yeah, it's a, it's been a while. It's something that they've been kind of suffering from, from for a while, but I feel like what's happening here is it, it may have to do something with their work, um, something that they're working on, um, it's not it's justice for them it's not you know it's not it's not like you know like some somebody's getting what they deserve and it's it's not your your person's not getting what they deserve somebody else is getting something or whatever like what they deserve here and your person is kind of getting the good end of this here because the sun here it's very positive this is this is positive for your person but they're very busy i see here they're like they they have to work very hard um, to get this justice and the seven of pentacles it's something that they've been waiting they've been waiting for this justice for a while now and it's something that they've been dealing with for some time um that's caused them some pain mm. yeah it, it's like it might have been something that they kept trying to start up and it didn't like it, it wasn't starting but and that was part of this pain here so yeah your person's just busy this month um so don't take it personal i guess if you if they're not really talking to you much or if they seem like their their mind is elsewhere because they they have a poker face they're not gonna really talk to you about this they're not gonna talk about their feelings about this or anything but yeah so yeah i don't see it's bad it's just busy you know it happens it happens all right let's see what the uh potential outcome is for you taurus for April. Okay, potential outcome for Taurus for April. So with the current energies that are going on right now, what is the potential outcome for Taurus for April? Hopefully all that bad luck is going away <laughs> or it won't be too bad. <laughs> uh, I mean, it happens like, you know, really for you, Taurus, it seems like April, um, the sort of motto for you is shit happens. 
Uh, like that just keeps, seems to be what April is for you. Shit happens. All right. <laughs> okay. Three of coins in reverse. Two of swords in reverse. Strength in reverse. So I was laughing because I'm like reverse. Are they all going to be reversals again? Uh, nine of wands. The chariot in reverse. Ten of swords. And bottom energy, we have Hierophant with the Magician. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, so I feel like there is this energy of manifesting, making shit out of nothing, out of nowhere. Um, it, it, it's, it, how do I put this? Um, there are some lessons. That you're basically like you you've learned some lessons this month um and that's going to help you to manifest something oh the empress is down there too that's also about an abundance creating an abundance here creating um i feel like yeah there's just things this month that you are going to learn um and it's going to help you to manifest create you know all that stuff help your 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 confidence and stuff like that um Let's see, two of swords in reverse and the chariot in reverse. Yeah, you're going to feel like you're a bit in a, between a rock and a hard place here um, because things just aren't either going to go the way that you want it to go, like down the path that you wanted, or it's just things are just going to go a little crazy here. And you're going to have to make some difficult decisions um, because just things are a little chaotic. There's a little bit of chaos here. And there's going to be some tough decisions that are going to need to be made. Um, the energy around that. Three of coins in reverse, nine of wands. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, you're going to have to be doing some things on your own here. But you're going to persevere through it. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like you're not going to get a whole lot of help from other people. I didn't say help. Like, um, it is. It's help. But it's like, you're just going to have to like work things out for yourself basically but yeah i don't see you giving up I, I i see it's going to be tiring it's going to be exhausting but you're going to work through it here because you have strength strength here in reverse it's like you're you're going to confront head on the pain there, there's there's pain here and when i say pain it's like all that the, you remember the the King of Wands in reverse, the King of Cups in reverse, all that frustrating energy, all that aggravation. That's what this is. This is the aggravation of April. Um, but you're going to you're gonna confront it head on. And like I said, uh, I, I, I don't feel like you're going to give up. And you're going to learn. You're going to learn a lot this month. I feel like the things that are happening, it's just going to feel like one thing after another. Going to have to make one bad, dis like not bad, bad, like one decision after another. Um, so like just how tough decisions are going to have to be made here. But you're, it is a learning process. I know you don't really want to hear that. But um, <laughs> that's the outcome here. Uh, let's get a message from the universe for you and then we'll wrap this up for you, Taurus. So what does the universe want to tell you, Taurus? Message from the universe for Taurus. What does the universe think that you need to know right now for April? the world three of pentacles in reverse again four of cups in reverse and we have the magician in reverse um yeah i feel like three cups i i'm getting from this sometimes you're like you're gonna get a little help from your friends here you know the, the beatles song <laughs> i get high with a little help from my friends sorry um why am i talking okay whatever um when you when you're in this mood of like i feel like i can't do it the magician here when you're like ah uh, things are just getting too tough i can't do it the uh, you know kind of turn to your friends um your friends are going to help you the people around you are going to help you to get through the times of this month when you're just like 
oh, I can't do it. Especially if you feel like you have to do everything on your own. I don't feel like they're going to be able to do things for you. Or I don't even think that they're going to actually help you do it. But it's more of a moral support type of thing here. Um, that there are people around you that are kind of kind of give you that little, like, you can do it kind of energy here. Um, because th I just feel like there are just things this month that you're going to have to work out for yourself. But you there's a little, like, a cheerleading kind of squad over here. They're here. Like, people are like, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Um, you're By the end of this, with the world you are going to find some sort of sense of accomplishment, of completion. Like, by the time April's done, you're just going to be like, fuck April. I got through that shit, though. You're going to feel good that you got through that shit. Four of Cups in reverse. And then <laughs> I, I get this as, and now I'm just going to withdraw from the world. Fuck that shit. Like, this is just like, okay, I did it. And then I'm just going to go crash into bed and don't bother me. I'm going to go sleep for like a thousand years. And that's okay. <laughs> I just I just get this energy here. Of, um, yeah. I, I, I But I also feel like this is also about being emotionally unavailable too. Because it's just it's just a lot, right? Um, that you're going to deal with. So I don't really feel like you're going to be that emotionally available. But you're going to get through it. And you're going to get some help here. So that's your reading, Taurus, for April 2022. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found this interesting, insightful, helpful in any way, I would appreciate a like and or subscribe. That just helps me do more with the channel. Um, you know, good luck with this month. You're going to need it because there's some bad luck here. So I will send you some good luck. I don't know. <laughs> like, I will. I like good luck, you know, whatever, whatever that means. Um, I don't know. If you want like some stones or whatever, um, Jade is, is a pretty you know good luck type of stone maybe i don't know maybe get some jade and you know it's pretty cool uh anyways yeah <laughs> i don't know i don't know much about stones i know very little about stones they're nice to look at <laughs> all right uh take care i hope you have a good day or good night wherever you are and i will talk to you later bye